Hey everyone, this is the RK Pirate here, and in this tutorial I'm going to show you how to set up MAME on the front end launch box. Before we get started, click the like button, pulverize the subscribe button, and tickle the bell. Arrrr. Going to use LaunchBox to import all the MAME ROMs and set up MAME UI for the emulator. I think LaunchBox is the easiest front end for setting up emulators and ROMs. I'm going to leave a link in the description below. It's free to use, but they do offer a paid version called Big Box Mode. LaunchBox is a great front end for loading all your emulators. It allows you to download box art, descriptions, and if you sign up for Emu Movies, you can also get intro videos to each emulator and game. You will need a full ROM set. They have multiple types of ROM sets out there. See description below. I'm going to be using a .201 merge set. Finding a full ROM set can be a little tricky. Unfortunately, I cannot provide direct links to the downloads, but if you search for the internet for main ROM sets, you should be able to locate a set. My set is about 63 gigs in size. If you do download an older ROM set, it will work with the newer version of main. When downloading MAME UI, you will need a zip program to open the software. I would recommend either WinRAR or 7-Zip. See links in the description below. After you find a ROM set, you will need MAME UI. Type MAME UI download in Google. Click the IV slash play and MAME UI homepage. This should be the first link that you see. Link provided below. Download MAME UI 64-bit version 0.223. It's the newest version at the time of making this video. Extract the main UI 64 folder to the location on your computer. Move your ROM set into the ROM folder inside of the main UI. Make sure not to unzip any of the ROM files. After loading LaunchBox, navigate to the options, Task, Import, then select ROM files. Since all the ROM files are in one location, you'll select Add Folder. Navigate to the ROM folder inside the main UI folder and then click Next. For the platform, click on the dropdown and select Arcade. When choosing an emulator, we will need to click on Add and select the main UI 64.execute file. Next, select the used files in their current location. Next, leave everything checked and click Next. If you have an MU Movies account, you can click the MU Movies tab and sign in. Next, I leave everything checked for this next step. Next. Finish. For a full ROM set, this will take some time to complete. I would go make a sandwich and watch Pirates of the Caribbean. Now let's talk about the mapping of all your buttons. Double click and enter a game, press tab on the keyboard to enter the config menu. Input general is a good spot for setting up menu controls and player button mapping. You can set up your command buttons in the user interface section, like configure, menu, pause, and exit. You can set your joystick commands and button layouts inside this location. The other control options will allow you to set all your games at once with the start and coin buttons for each player. When setting a key, you can press enter on your keyboard and press the key you want to bind. You can also set controls for just one game at a time through the input this machine section. This is the basic commands that you will need for setting up MAME in LaunchBox. I will provide troubleshooting tips below for issues you might run into while setting up MAME. Thank you. 